Well, how is everyone doing today? We got a nice video here for you. Some of you have been following my channel for more than one full league. May have recalled last season in Scourge League, at the very end of the league, right before I bought a brand new computer, I attempted to do some really insane level juicing and that was on Tropical Island with Nemesis 4 and beyond. Elevated sextants, winged scarabs, everything just absolute maxed out. Well, I want to do that again. I didn't do that at all this season because it didn't really seem like there was any practical good reason to do it since uh, this season with the new Atlas changes really promoted the idea of lesser juice, lesser expense per map and just going faster in each map. However, what kind of uh, season would it be if I didn't at least try it out one time? And I'm going to go run on my, uh, my favorite map, of course. Cemetery map right here in the Dumb Tab C. Now I'm also going to do Promenade map and because I did do Promenade map already. And I'm going to make this a Delhi Mirror Farm. So it seems to kind of make sense to promenade map. So I figured it'd be a fun way to kind of test uh, test it in the form of a face-off between the two maps to see which uh, map comes out on top in terms of the currency per hour. So I will be timing the runs. Promenade will probably take a little bit more time to do. But Cemetery will be subject to high RNG variability. Promenade will be highly consistent on its currency farmed, in fact, in just 16 maps, which is all I'm doing. I'm just doing 16 maps for each one. I should get a very strong sense of how much currency per hour this uh, strategy makes for Promenade. And you know what? I haven't done anything even close to this high amount of investment, so it might turn out to be pretty good currency per hour. It might even be better than anything I've done. Uh, but it's I, I won't regret not doing uh, my maps this way throughout the season because it would just take so much time uh, to get these scarabs together. It was so incredibly easy to get these uh, polished and even gilded scarabs together to get awakened sections in the form of the new compasses. Uh, hardly anyone bossed with Maven. There were not very many elevated sections on the marketplace this season, so uh, th things just didn't pair up very well. Also, with the uh, the advent of Nemesis 3 and Nemesis 4 g going away forever, and Nemesis really going away forever, actually, with the new reveal that we just had recently, um, being replaced by Arch Nemesis modifiers. Anyway, the Nemesis Sextant, no more um, monsters drop three or four currency. Uh, that's completely gone. So that used to work really well with uh, extreme levels of juicing. But we've scaled things back now. And this time, we're going to focus um, a little bit on the higher end just for this one uh, time one time only and this I be do believe will be the final uh, farming video I make this season uh, as we only have about two or three days left in the season and I really need to get started on preparation for the next season now you will notice these uh, these two dump tabs are basically identical the only difference is the maps that are used um, I did go ahead and project I actually had to do a little bit of projection because these compasses their value, uh, the marketplace, extremely volatile uh, at the end of the season for elevated sextants right now. But I went ahead and I think I was pretty conservative. So, uh, like, I had just gotten uh, this sextant right here. I had just gotten one for 2x. <laughs> but I also had to pay, like, 7x for another one. Uh, so, I don't know. Anyway, I budgeted 6x for the unique monster drop corrupted item. Fortunately, for a sextant like this, I can actually examine the marketplace on awakened sextants because there's no additional value uh, to doing elevated sextant on unique monsters drop corrupted items. So I really just had to take four awakened sextants of these times it or times that by four, and I was able to determine the value. And it came out to about five or six x a piece. Uh, same with delirium. Uh, same story there, and as for Strongbox Enraged and Elevated Beyond, those do have special high numbers on the Elevated side, so they cost a little bit extra. Uh, Strongbox Enraged has always been about 2, 2.5x two uh, this whole season. I have checked that one not, and, and apparently 8% uh, Beyond is one of the most expensive sections this entire season, uh, around 6, 7, or even 8x a piece. So, why am I running this particular setup? I got Winged Abyss Scarab. And then I got No Abyss Sexton. 
If you recall last season, this was basically the same setup that I ran Nemesis for with, except imagine substituting the Strongbox Sextant out for the Nemesis 4 Sextant, and then uh, substituting out um, Strongbox entirely, its Scarabs, in for Harbinger. But I didn't want to run Harbinger this time, because I'll show you here. Uh, the main reason is because I just didn't have the point allocations uh, available to do it. So I had to run... I had to make a hard decision, actually. And the hard decision was to drop Harbinger and then take Abyss instead, which honestly is not really a bad choice at all. The different, there's the difference between essentially eight Harbingers on the map versus three, or e actually with this notable, almost a high, pretty high chance of getting four Abysses on each map uh, with, you know, um, Abyss is being busted in a major way here with 30% there, 100% there, and an extra 100% increased monster spawn. I believe that's an extra 230% increased uh, monster spawn for each Abyss. That's pretty nice. I get three Abysses uh, just from the uh, Abyss Scarab. I always talk about Abyss Scarabs, and, and they are one of the best scaling Scarabs. So, indeed, the polished scarab is a lot better than the uh, rusted one. The gilded one's a lot better than the polished one. And the winged abyss scarab is a lot better than the gilded abyss scarab. And for good reason, this scarab is actually pretty expensive. Now, I did not pay the marketplace price for all of these scarabs because it was really hard to get the materials together for this, to get 32 of each of these scarabs. But I am just going to let excellence determine what the value of those scarabs are by default. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not gonna like mess with what I think the the value is based on what I paid uh, but we can see here if we take a snapshot uh, first of all I will um, reveal the fact that maybe uh, here we go uh, I'm only showing dump tabs a and B right now okay but Actually, uh, dump tab C has all the cemetery map. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run promenade first. I'm going to do all 16 promenade map. I'm going to just throw everything in dump tab B. There should be enough room for it. And then we're going to calculate the value of that and the, the time. And I will calculate that. I'll put that on here. And we'll use the promenade portion of the notepad. And we'll figure out the X per hour there. And then we'll do the same thing in this video on cemetery. And, you know, as part of this face-off, we'll kind of just find out for fun which one... Uh, came out ahead on this farm. I, re I really have no idea which one. I think it'll depend a lot on how many brother stashes drop. Uh, presumably, with wing divination scarab, I should get uh, a fair number. I'd say I I'm guessing at least two <laughs> are going to drop. Probably more like three or maybe four. Uh, but anyway, I think I've showed you about what I need to show you here. Uh, let's take that snapshot. And for some reason, uh, you know, these are just subtle marketplace fluctuations. So that's what we're going to call it 38.52. I'm just going to count them both at that price. Uh, there's no reason not to do that. Okay, and then that's all you really need to see there. 80 chaos for the putting beyond on the uh, Kyrick bench. And then the exalts cover the price of the compasses. That's a lot of, that's a pretty high price there. Uh, if we take... Actually, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do that math right now. So if I take 38.52 divided by oh, 142 for the... Oh, no, I, I'm going to take... Yeah, I'm going to figure it out by... Uh, I'll just figure it out by X per hour. So that's basically 2.4 2 exalts per map invested. Um, a far cry from the 28 chaos per map that I did on my most recent farm. <laughs> so major difference there. So let's, let's see how it turns out. I'm not really sure uh, how it'll go, but um, we're going to find out together. My mana is gone. Oh man, I have not run. I did do a little bit of testing with this actually before I did it. But, uh... Oh, yeah. I actually had to roll some of my own scare. Sextant, I don't really care if I override it at this point in the season. Uh, we're, we're at the very end of the season, so we're just having fun. Don't really care about the currency left over. Um, yeah. I'm not working towards anything. I've basically spent all the currency I care to spend this season. There's nothing really left to do. 
Um, so watch out for this bug here. Apparently, <laughs> when I click Alva, which I am running Alva on here, it, it deselects the Beyond. So that is selected there. And as you can see, uh, I forgot to mention that. So I am running Alva on all of these, even the cemetery maps, which I never run Alva on cemetery, but of course with insane levels of juicing, I'm going to run it here. So still doing strong box. Now, why am I doing strong box? Well, strong box was just my jam for the whole season. I decided to go ahead and do that. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily have to do it with this amount of juice. Maybe Harbinger would, would be all right too. But, you know, I like winged strong box scarabs and they're actually not that expensive either. Uh Okay. And we're in. Okay, now Promenade, this is kind of familiar because I already ran stuff this way. Now, I usually run with a Gloom Shrine, but I'm going to try and do this with no Gloom Shrine. Again, I did test this before I actually went through with it. Um, all the maps are, for the most part, easy enough. To deal with i think uh I, I will be okay this map i believe has uh minus max all res so it's a little bit hard a little bit hard on me and i did return to the old loot filter the one that's only you know only uber strict not not like crazy crazy strict so i am going to pick up uh, chaos orbs and stuff i decided to switch back to it because um you know when you're juicing up the map this much well, conventional wisdom would suggest that the higher you juice, the stricter your loot filter. But in actuality, when you're juicing up the map this much, you kind of want to make sure you pick up the stuff in it. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, so I may have a little bit of trouble picking up all the six links in here. It's just going to really uh, test my inventory space with the six links for sure. Okay, so we're already seeing some patience. That's good. See raw exalted orb. That's good. Um, Abyss is definitely annoying with the timers having to babysit it and everything here. We got a Alva to do straight up. No, oh, I think I killed the wrong one. Oh well. Uh, Alva Chronicle results. If I get Locus of Corruption, I'm not going to count it as anything extra. I'm also not really going to like mess with counting Breach Rings either. We're not messing with leveling gems either. So we're really just uh, trying to see the difference in quality between these two maps. See if I can uh, realize any notable difference here. I will attempt to loot as much as I can. But you can see I'm already hitting a wall here. Actually, to be honest, I'm really not worried about what the rooms turn into for this. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to use an Alpha Tempo or sell it before the season's over anyway. So it's really just all about uh, getting milking all the juice out of this uh, incursion that I can. Oh wow, Got another one. Ooh, quantity and rarity. I always like to see that. I am reminded we're doing this much juice of, of what it was like to run on my old PC. Couldn't even handle this kind of uh, map before, and yet this thing seems to handle it uh, fairly, fairly well. I wouldn't exactly call it a dream, but uh, you can see here this is uh, how much beyond is it? I can't seem to find the number. 42, 42% uh, beyond. Yeah, that sounds right because it used to be 40% uh, when I did this farm before. That was with the awakened beyond sextant, uh, not the elevated. I'm gonna get that off of there. <laughs> oh, another exalted orb. That's actually pretty lucky. Okay, so at this point I decided uh, it's a good time to go kind of hightail it to the end of the map. I actually, I think I will start this abyss. Fine, I'll go ahead and do this too, I guess. What an awful abyss that is. 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I still didn't trigger that abyss yet. Now, this is the 100% delirious territory. And the problem is, I got a breach that's open over here. Kind of need to make use of. Oh, that stupid abyss finally opened. Sixty headhunter buffs. I need to kind of make sure I keep at least uh, fifty or so. I think you can see even now that's. Uh, I just lost my golem. I'm gonna be careful with that AG. It could die pretty easily. Yeah, even this doesn't really feel powerful enough. I think I did it. I managed. So this is one of the harder maps, given the fact that it is 100% uh, delirious. Up here. Now I move back here, and it's not 100% delirious anymore. Well, this should be 300 simulacrum splinters, although it might not be because all three alvas were at the front of the map. And it looks like that's it. Let's see. Hmm. Yes, it is. Okay, quick trick. Uh, I will actually make a quick tips of this here eventually, but you can... Uh, Grab a six link and click the portal, have the inventory open, click the portal, grab the six link before it actually takes it based on a small amount of latency. And you turn around and then uh, go straight to your stash. You can actually pick up more items than your inventory can handle, just like what you saw right there. Really cool. Okay. The promenade portion of the video has been finished already. That is all uh, dump tab. B here, we're moving into the cemetery map. I've already done one map and got an enlightened support, actually. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and then uh, for this map, uh, I want to showcase something a little special I'm doing. I had two monstrous treasures left over from way early on in the season. I did run one of them in Promenade, uh, but I am going to actually showcase a full vid on the cemetery. Uh, we're going to do this here. We're going to pick Alva, Monster's Treasure. Of course, for the other 15 maps I'm doing Beyond. Uh, this does short stack me 15 percentage points on Beyond. But hey, I mean, you know, 24 to 36 extra strong boxes. And I love strong boxes. So, of course, we're going to add this in. I do think this many strong boxes is a, a fair bit better than 15 percent uh, Beyond. So, uh, this is going to be... This right here will probably be... First of all, it'll be a trip down memory lane, and then second of all, it's going to be easily my favorite, single favorite map I do all league long. Let's go, let's see all these incredible strong boxes. Oh yeah, it's just going to be strong boxes for days here. I should uh, make sure I get the full force of this delirium. Mirror, mm -hmm. a little bit of uh, breach. A little bit of abyss. A whole lot of strong box. <laughs> Look how many there are. Uh, I should honestly probably kill the boss first, huh? Before I really open these strong boxes. Oh, well. I just want to see what's inside immediately. Show me. Show me what's inside. I'm fully expecting at least one brother stash in this map. If I don't get at least one, I'm honestly going to be quite disappointed got three abysses active kind of gotta pay attention don't I think I can jar this one out I 
forgot about that breach. Whoa! Oh, a raw exalted orb. Eh, who cares about that? I don't care about the raw exalted orb. I need brother's stashes. Somebody give me a brother stash. Got a bunch of strong boxes right here. Both the freak, both abysses. Let's go right here. It's gonna drop. Oh no! Really got a breach. Two abysses. Four strong boxes. Five strong boxes. And no brother stash. Really? I got another breach to do. I guess. Well, it's gotta come out of one of these. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh man, GGG, you gotta put Monster's Treasure back in the game. I don't mean as some random piddly 1% chance to get some random thing that's probably not even Monster's Treasure. I think Monster's Treasure was the least number of, of uh, specialized things I got. I kept getting like Corrupted Tempest and stuff. But I pulled points out of those uh, early on because, you know, they're obviously just you're kind of wasting points putting them in there. In the grand scheme of things, very happy I accumulated at least a couple of these to have some fun with it. I think I've already opened most of them. Too bad the prophecy won't tell me if I opened all of them. I did, that's one thing I really liked about the prophecy is you actually knew if you opened all the strong boxes if you didn't have sort of like double opens to do. Like you knew the answer. I don't get to know. Right, here we go. A couple more here. There might be one or two down here. One. I think this is the last one right here. Yikes! My health! Wow. Oh, I got a second open on it. <laughs> yep. Alright, it would appear that Monstrous Treasure did not pull through this time. Just have to try again next season, I guess. Uh, I had high hopes. Definitely had high hopes. Oh man, uh, Abyss is going to be so much better than they were. Oh! Superior Enlightened Support. <laughs> yeah, I do have the gems. I do have the gems. Oh, that thing ended already? Oh no, it came all the way over here. Okay, there we go. Superior Enlightened Support. It's wild. coming I gotta get a bunch of them I mean I got th what three dragon hearts in the promenade section so to me that means according to those averages at least three brother stashes they're gonna drop But it's good to see that came pretty early. Maybe even a little earlier than expected. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
feeling invigorated. I, I low-key hope that the promenade farm just completely obliterates the cemetery farm <laughs> with the insane levels of juicing. That'd be so funny to me. I need my day in the sun. Same map, two in the same minute. Oh, oh! Keep on, keep on, keeping on. Hmm. Will you go magic find again? Yes, but of course not right off the bat. That's interesting. A red star just dropped on top of an abyss that isn't even spawned. So what is it? Oh, it is the money shot. The money shot. Three brothers stashed it in nine maps. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's entertaining. But I'm entertaining when a uh, brother stash drops. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Give me that thing. Boom. Last time a brother stash dropped in my cemetery map, it came with another one. But 30 seconds later, in the same map. Can you do it again? Two brother stashes in one map. Oh yeah, I have one dragon's heart too. Not that anybody cares about those. Oh, another red star. Go, oh, big wins. Number four. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brothers dash number four. Okay, maybe the drop rate is a little higher than I thought. If I get like on average one every other map, then. <laughs> I'm going to regret not ultra juicing all season because that that's kind of crazy currency. Dragon's heart, no, no. It just gives more credence to the idea that I'm getting as many brother stashes as I deserve. So that's a third dragon heart. Um, or sorry, the second second dragon heart, uh, or no? I can't remember if that's two or three. I, th I think it's the third. And again, however many dragon hearts I get, I should get at least that many brother stashes. So. That's the ratio. Already been discovered.
Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Can't be stopped. Oh. What? Can't be stopped. Just kidding. How in the world did I die there? I just lost an entire alpha. <laughs> uh. Can't keep me down. Buy brother stashes in. I think. 12 maps. I think. Okay. In <laughs> 72. Some lacrum splinters. Alright. The face off is finished. Let's see the results. What do you guys think? Do you think Cemetery won or do you think Promenade? My money's on Cemetery. That's where my money is. Okay, so the Promenade Grands took. Whoop. Oh, shoot. I forgot to. Uh, time. Why did I reset that? Err. Derpy derp derp derp. What time did I start this stream? Oh, I can just check this here. Well, it's been three hours, and then I'd say oh, less than thirty minutes. Two hours. I think yeah, two and a half hours. All right. Okay, almost had a, an issue there where I wasn't sure how long the cemetery farm took. <laughs> but uh, the promenade farm took three hours. And cemetery farm looks like it took somewhere between two hours and 15 minutes to two hours and 30 minutes. Maybe a tiny bit more. Uh, I'm going to say two hours and 30 minutes. Um, just to be fair. So cemetery does have a slight advantage over promenade. And then it took a little bit less time. So again, we're checking currency per hour. Dump tab B is... Promenade. Dump tab C is cemetery. You'll notice there's a whole lot less stuff in this dump tab. And a big reason for that is patient cards. Filling up a bunch of inventory slots. Um, but yeah, here, let's go take a look. We'll start with promenade. Yeah. It's a highlight section. Whoop. Whoop. Let me move this out of my way. Okay. Needs to be nice and pretty, right? Uh, investment cost for both maps. You can say it's the same. 37.53 exalts. And the gross. Well, we're going to start with promenade. So I got that already set up. It is dump tabs A and B. Let's take a snapshot here. Now, I am actually going to have to adjust some of these figures, I'm afraid. Uh, because it got really, really wonky. <laughs> I don't know what uh, what happened uh, here. But, uh, like, the patient cards, each worth 10 chaos apiece. Give me a break. That can't be right. Oops. Oh, yeah, Dying Anguish is in here, too. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not counting those at 10 chaos apiece. So I am going to look at at least at some of the more valuable target farmable things. And I'm, I'm going to adjust their prices so they turn out right. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to have to do that. And that's going to be rough, tough to do. Even divine orbs looking really down. But um, yeah, I'll go ahead and leave Divine Orbs where they're at, I guess, at like 9 Chaos apiece. That seems a little low, but at least it's not stupid low. Uh, the Patient cards, though, that's not right. They're not 10 Chaos apiece, so we're going to have to adjust that. Um, they, they should be listed at, at least 20 Chaos apiece. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give a bonus uh, 10. Okay, I'm basically just going to double the value of the patient cards here. Uh, simulacrum splinter, or simulacrums, full simulacrums, 12. Uh, that number's going to be way lower on cemetery. I didn't get hardly any on cemetery. <laughs> uh, 
Exalted Orbs felt kind of low on the Promenade side, only 6 there. And again, this was 16 maps, but uh, anyway, we got Awaken Sextants, Raw Chaos. Uh, the Uniques were pretty good on the Promenade, say, promenade side. Aegis Org, uh, Double Badge of the Brotherhood, Garakant. Uh, I got quite fortunate with the Uniques. Nothing insane, no Inspired Learning. Uh, three Dragon Hearts, so that is interesting to see. So that kind of told me right there, that helped give me a hint as to how many Brother Stashes I might expect uh, from the brother, uh, from the cemetery, and I figured I'm going to get three or four, uh, maybe five, uh, probably, is the results that would happen there. Uh, so we're going to take... The, these numbers look pretty good, except for the Patient card, so I am going to adjust the Patient card. Uh, we're going to double... The amount there so we got 123 patient cards and 16 maps well that's uh, seven seven point six eight patient cards per map and we're gonna take this times 10 for an additional 1200 chaos Okay, additional 8.6x is going to be added to the promenade side because that's not, again, I mean, you know it, I know it. It's, it's pretty obvious that that is not at all representative of what the patient card is worth. Divine Orbs is also off too by a factor, I'd say, of at least two chaos, but uh, the Divine Orbs will kind of even themselves out anyway for the most part. Uh, because I was target farming them on both maps. So let's double check in here. We got, uh, okay. The gross is 68.92. So that'll give us a total gross of 77.52. A patient card adjustment. And again, the reason I'm having to do this patient card adjustment is because it's like one or two days left of the season. <laughs> so uh, I want to at least be somewhat accurate. We'll take this number minus 37.53. Basically 40. Uh, divided by three hours, and that is the X per hour. Okay, and 13.33 repeating. Okay, there you go. Promenade did 13.33 repeating X per hour. And the uniques, I'm pretty sure, were better in Promenade. I got more Simulacrum. Um, let, let's actually see what the Divination cards. I'm curious. Uh, what? Dying Anguishes worth only one Chaos apiece? See, that's not right either. I kind of want to compare the Divination card values. Dying Anguish was... Wasn't it like three chaos apiece? And then patient card times 20? Anyway, I, I got somewhere around 20x of value in divination cards here. Somewhere around there. Um, oh, plus, that's right, plus about 2x in uh, dragon's heart. So, all right. Yeah, 21, 22, uh, yeah, something like that. Okay, so that's all for that one. Now if we switch this over and do dump tab C, that'll give me exclusively cemetery. And you see the number's lower. It's a lower number. But look at what happened to the brother stash value. Which doesn't make any sense because Exalted Orbs is still worth like 143. I, I have no idea how, why why Brother Stash is suddenly trading at like 273 chaos, chaos of That's a complete lie. Uh, oh, I guess I'm uh, letting the cat out of the bag here. I found five Brother Stashes and again three Dragon's Hearts. So this, this very much uh, represents what I mentioned the entire league where I felt like Dragon Heart and Brother Stash uh, drop rates were about the same. If anything, Brother Stash was more common. 
uh, than Dragon's Heart. So that definitely proved itself to be true. And even though it was only 16 maps of each, I mean, these were like insanely juiced, 250% more divination cards. So, I mean, that that is kind of the equivalent of probably like 100 um, semi-juiced maps. At least. At least. So you can see right here, I mean, th this is a problem here. Uh, so we got Divine Orbs again. Now, Divine Orbs, I did find fewer Divine Orbs in Cemetery by about a factor of maybe 30 or 40. Or not a factor, but 30 or 40 fewer Divine Orbs. Uh, more Exalted Orbs. 10 Exalted Orbs. Uh, one Enlightened, so I did get it lucky on the Enlightened there, but you'll see my Uniques were actually really unlucky here. Uh, the Uniques are <laughs> way, way worse. Way worse. I don't know why Ventress Gamble's listed at 20 chaos apiece, but to dust is low. And uh, yeah, that those those uniques are pretty bad. Just Call of the Brotherhood is the only halfway decent one. Uh, so I think the Enlightened support kind of made up for the bad uniques. Only five simulacrums. Oh yeah, I did get a. That's right, 2120 Ray Zombie. All right. Okay, so let's go back to divination cards here, and let's put in the true amount. Uh, once again, I'll do 2x for the three dragon hearts, which is, I don't know, somewhat close, fairly accurate. Uh, for brother stash as well, I'm just going to do I don't know, times 25, actually, so yeah. <laughs> 25. Uh, okay, and, and you know what? Instead, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to remove these from here. So I'm going to remove 9.2x there. Okay, 56.4. 56.4x plus 25. Okay, I, I'm, I'm removing what it says the brother stashes are worth, and I'm just adding 25x uh, back in. And then, let's see, I don't think I adjusted for the dragon heart, even though it's listing way lower, so we'll just leave that at that. So that's uh, 81. 81. Well, there you go. I mean... That basically, that's all she wrote. Um, cemetery wins because cemetery was actually shorter. It was the same investment. So Forty-three divided by two point five. Well, I I am just. Every time I farm Cemetery, I make 17x an hour, I feel like, every single time. Uh, so there you have it. That's 13-ish uh, X per hour versus 17-ish X per hour. Uh, cemetery blew Promenade out of the water, I think. Uh, sure, the uh, the values in excellence are a little bit squirrely right now, but I think for the major items, uh, definitely fixed, fixed it. Uh, if anything, this, these are worth more because also Divine Orbs are way undervalued right now. Good time to buy divine orbs if you weren't already. Yeah. Well, that's it. This was the final farm, the final farm of the season, and now I am free. I can finally, uh, <laughs> or I freed myself, unshackled the chains. I can really, truly go into next season. Um, I've really, I, I've still gotta start practicing. Um, People keep asking me, what are you going to leak start? What are you going to leak start? Um, I'm still not 100% sure. It is going to be a soul thirst build that is scales it tremendously well with attack speed, which means it could be spark, it could be lightning strike, it could be lightning arrow, it could be toxic rain, or it might just straight up be tornado shot immediately uh, because I am thinking of just simply leak starting as tornado shot, even though I know that's kind of taboo. I think I can make uh, shrines and domination just come in and carry me <laughs> early red maps that with um soul thirst so soul th imagine soul thirst with tornado shot it could be interesting 
Um, sh it should be good. On paper, it should be good. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Um, please uh, let me know if you enjoyed all the farm videos of this season. Uh, I was happy to be able to bring to you this insanely juiced uh, farming video that uh, it was a whole lot of fun. The highlights are there. You can see we're having fun getting two brothers' tashes in one cemetery map. It was pretty awesome. Uh, not something I recommend <laughs> doing. You have to have an outstanding PC to handle handle that and obviously a very well-geared character. Um, next season it won't look exactly like that either with Headhunter adjustments. Uh, that remains to be seen how that will affect me. Um, but Cemetery is still on the map so I will on the map pool for 3.18 so I will absolutely uh, find my way into there very early on. I may as fact I may as well just uh, league start divination card farming I think uh, with cemetery especially with how I plan to use abuse the shrines uh, early early league all right so if you have any questions please feel free to ask down below and as always appreciate you guys uh, watching we'll see you around bye bye